Hey guys, Stryker here, me bringing you another video commentary. However, this one is a little bit different than the last one. I decided to cut out some of the, the clips of this video where I was just running around in circles looking for people. Uh, tell you guys a secret, they were on the roof, <laughs> did not find them. So cut that out and I just included all my assists, deaths, kills, anything like that. So it's essentially the whole video without the boring parts of me just running around. Figured you guys would appreciate that. Uh, if you liked it the other way, just let me know in the comments. Uh, I'll see what the feedback is and possibly go back to how it was. Just have to let me know. Uh, Alright, so let's get into it. I'm going to be playing uh, Domination on Zavad using an F2000 running Assault. So I've been running Assault a lot lately, uh, trying to get the mastery on each weapon, get the dog tag. Uh, the dog tag for F2000 I have gotten so far. Um, this video is from a little bit ago. I'm not sure exactly when. kind of forget. Everything kind of runs together. But uh, this is when I first got the F2000. I know that just because of my attachments that I'm running. It's going to be the reflex, a muzzle brake, and an angle grip. This weapon needs none of that. I mean... I actually enjoyed the iron sights on this gun. Uh, they were one of the better ones. It's not like the FAMAS's iron sights, which are terrible. You kind of need a sight to really use that weapon. But yeah, uh, right here, I ran out of ammo with the F2000, so I picked up that one's kit. It's an AR-160 Coyote sight with an M26 mass underneath. Don't think I've ever picked up a weapon that had that as an underbarrel. Most people don't run it. Most people run, I mean, you know, the defibs and the the med bag, because that's what most medics do. I mean, you kind of have to have one if you have the other, in my opinion, but you could run one. just depends on how your playstyle is. Uh, I was doing pretty well with this gun. I actually hadn't used the AR-160 much before I picked this one up. Using it right here is actually what got me into uh, creating a loadout for my AR-160 which is a very good gun in my opinion. A uh, little segue, this is gonna bring me to my next point which is the next video, well not next video but a video coming up. I'm gonna do the no reload challenge where if you don't know what that is that is going to be where I kill someone and pick up their loadout. I'm not able to actually reload my weapon so it should be fun. Uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, until next time, Striker out.